Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Oh. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Not sure what I was aiming at there. 
If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. Kane, thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different for me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until Always I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I. No, no, just, just go. Harry. Really at the end of his rope. 